anchor point in there. Welcome back. Looks like winter's about to kick in, so I want to get this build out on the river one time before it gets too cold so I can test this, see how it floats as of right now, and uh, go for there, uh, go from there, so I can uh, work on some other things uh, inside the garage while it's cold outside. So let's see how this is going to work. All right, I'm getting ready to take this thing down, put it in the river. I ain't got no motor. It's not kayakable now. It's a camper, so I can't use no oars. But I, I want to see um, how it floats with the weight that it is as it is right now before I uh, proceed too much further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk it out through the river. Um, just put it in the river, you know, see how it floats first. And then I'll walk and push it around and get inside of it and stuff like that to uh, just do a test. But, I mean, I've still got to install the windshield. I've got to... Uh, do tons and tons of stuff got to put the build the transom out in the back and everything else so i can drive it as a boat but i uh need to see how it's going to act in the water and it happens to be a sunny day today it's not by any means hot but uh it's warm enough that i think i can get in that water and uh, walk this out without freezing to death so i'm gonna go ahead and try that out all right about to go see if this thing stays above water as it is anchor I just installed anchor point and again everybody remember uh, this is not the trailer that is going to be for this camper this is a kayak trailer uh, I was able to build it on so I can move it around but it will be a axleless Timberland axleless uh, overland trailer that I'm building um, with 33s those wheels up there so it'll set higher, it'll have a much more sexier, aggressive look, and it'll have fenders uh, on it as well. And uh, the tongue will be much longer with a uh, front box on the front of this. Um, the box itself will be mounted to the trailer, not to the boat. Anyway, trying to help y'all understand my vision for this. Alright, throwing these waders. Go out here and test the depth of this water first because if it's any deeper than I can walk in, it's a no-go on the test because uh, I can't drive the boat. I gotta walk it. That's really a float. Alright, I think I can get far enough back here. I'm still getting deeper. But all I need to do is be able to get it to where it's floatable. Make sure it's going to float. So I think we're good to go. Get in and out of it out here. Find out if it's gonna hold me. About to lose a drawer out of that as it's coming down. All right, you can stop right there because I'm going to have to uh, undo that strap, the nose strap, a little bit. It's in there, prepping this up. All right, 
right, something to pull that sinking ship. Closer to the back of that door. Ooh, water's probably gonna go in there loading it in. Yeah, that's, I might have to raise that up so. Alright. Hopefully it starts floating before that goes under. Alright, now it's starting to float. <laughs> Alright. All right, you good? Uh, oh, it floats. So, obviously back heavy. I need to add weight in the front. back before. So what I've learned so far is uh, I definitely got to add weight in the front to level it out and I think in my entryway back here because as I was walking toward the back it just got shallow enough where the water would come in. I think I'm going to come up about three or four inches uh, on that transom give that that difference from where that water comes in but this gives you an idea of like if you're out on the lake camping pull up to a beach you know go backwards into the sand then you can still 
have your little field. In the summer, you don't give a damn about getting wet. The beach, you got your kitchen opened up, you got to anchor down, doing your thing. I don't know. Ideas, but uh, it ain't leaking nothing. Not a drop. It's floating great, so I don't think I'm going to add that foam in there for that weight. But I might add the foam just in the nose to add that weight in the nose to help teeter it out. But uh, I'm going to have to call this a victory so far. It's doing great. Well, there you have it. Figured out a few different things uh, that I need to do, like uh, adding weight in the front, uh, building that rear transom up a little bit. Um, that was way too close uh, with the water coming in in that back entryway. Not a problem. Easy fix. Um, but all in all, I think it was a pretty successful test. It wasn't taking on any water as far as the boat itself leaking. Um, so I'm excited about it and can't wait till uh, spring kicks in where I can have this thing out with the motor on it and zipping around the water and seeing how it's working out. Uh, it's going to be really awesome once those outriggers are put on, which I've already started building them. Um, I've got two of them ready for one side of the camper, but I still need to make the other two. But uh, between now and then, we will keep the videos coming and keep progressing on this project throughout the winter. And uh, again, thank you all for being here and have a wonderful day. I'm Sex. See y'all later.